Greetings, greetings, greetings. You are now tuned into the vault. Trust Christian No, nothing control everything. Just want to thank you for tuning in live, listening to replay. Always appreciate everybody for tuning in live, listening to replay. This is the vault, episode three hundred and thirteen. Mayday, Mayday. Once again, this is the vault, episode three hundred and thirteen. Mayday, Mayday. Always appreciate everybody for tuning in live, listening to replay. Uh, this is an episode where we're just going to be talking about the mindset, the thought process, you know, that we've seen trustees come through. Uh, this is always for the trustees. Uh, this episode is going to be catered towards them understanding the importance of what's considered a Mayday Mayday, where you're all in. Where we've had trustees throughout the years continuously come to the program and we say, are you all in going private? Everyone says they want to go private, but then they get off the phone and are they going private? Are you going private? Are you going private? That's our, that's the question is, mayday, mayday. Is an international radio distress signal used by ships and aircrafts? It's a distress signal. Is it a mayday, mayday in your family life, in your business life? We were talking to some entrepreneurs, investors the other day about the chaos that you deal with as an entrepreneur. You know, one of these individuals actually said this might not be for them. They were willing to admit it. They were willing to admit that trusteeship may not be for them. That entrepreneurship may not be for them. But they're still carrying along. They haven't quit entrepreneurship because they cringe at the nightmare. The nightmare is the mayday mayday. What's the nightmare? Having to work for money. Mayday mayday. You're working for money. You're not supposed to work for money. There's no working for money attitude. But mayday mayday says, oh, we are in lack mentality. Oh no, it's not enough people to go around. It's not enough success to go around. It's limited. My sum and and portion of it, it's limited. This is a limited mentality. Mayday, mayday. Trust Christian in the vault. Oh, nothing control everything. Appreciate Mississippi for tuning in live, listening to replay. Appreciate Mississippi for tuning in live, listening to replay. Having a lack mentality. Having a I'm not going to go get it mentality. Having a it's a possibility that it can't work for me mentality. Mayday, mayday means that it could possibly fail. That's what that means. There is no possible failure in trusteeship. We sit around trustees and we let them know about officers, errors, and omissions insurance. Mayday, mayday. Oh, I'm an officer of a company. I'm going to make a mistake. And so how does the company get around that? Mayday, mayday. There's a limited amount of money. There's a limited amount of people. There's 7 billion people plus on the, in the planet right now. They're in these major cities. They're on the internet where the internet's developed. Mayday, mayday. The internet's just beginning. You're still at the beginning of the 20-year cycle that hasn't even hit 10% penetration in the world. Mayday, mayday. You're panicking too early. Get to work. Build out for the next 20 years to take advantage of the next 100. Because the internet will, will slow down what will be a need for oil. Because the internet will replace the need for more crude oil operations. More air, less land. Mayday, mayday. They're using autonomous vehicles to eliminate human people. Jobs are eliminating humans. Mayday, mayday. You didn't invest in the technology. People think investing in crypto is investing in the technology. No, you have to invest in the technology. Not a coin. Mayday, mayday. You got tricked early. You're the people that they that 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 they say that these people tricked in the v- first of all, it's in an unregulated industry. 
Crypto's in an unregulated industry. Mayday, mayday. You can't pitch investors to invest in something that's unregulated traditionally. Because real money wants to invest in things and real assets. Things that are regulated. Things that are appraised. That have some type of associated value. Because it's a part of an association. There is some type of asset association for different assets. Whether it's the NASDAQ, whether it's the, the S&P 500, these are institutions that hold multiple assets that these companies have to show a lot more paperwork. Mayday, mayday. People literally just got tricked for the early pony that's showing a tail. Mayday, mayday. What can we learn out of this situation, Trust Christian Interval? Out of this mayday, mayday mentality. How does this really help us out, Trust Christian in the Vault? Let's share with you how mayday, mayday mentality helps you out in the real world. And the perspective of business, not personal. Mayday, mayday says, I am the first of my bloodline to build generational wealth. Generational wealth in hundreds of millions of dollars. And so for that reason, you're the sacrificial lamb. Mayday, mayday. You're not looking for no one. You're not looking for anyone else. You're not looking for the next generation to get on their game. You're looking to take all responsibility. You're looking to be the people that is considered a legendary player in a league of trusteeship. You're looking to be legendary. For your family. You're looking to be that legend for your family. Mayday, mayday. Say so you had the opportunity. You knew there were previous generations that didn't have the information. You took advantage of it. You changed the bloodline. Now it's remember because you have a library. Because you have a hospital. Because you have a street named after you. Because you have a, a playground named after you. Now you have a park named after you. A lake, a waterway, a preserve, some type of company that would never go under because it's that valuable to the population. Mayday, mayday. You got the information. You listen to the vault because it was spiritual. It wasn't just business. It was spiritual information. The information comes out of the air. The, you're, it's spiritual. The 1% information is spiritual. It's to help you carry your legacy from one generation to the next. It's allowing you to speak from one generation to the next. It's spiritual. Mayday, mayday. You got to come back to being in yourself. Spiritual. The invisible part. Mayday, mayday. Those goals and dreams are real. Of course they are. Of course the goals and dreams are real. So since the goals and dreams are real, you got to work. The daily work, the daily planning out the schedule. The things that People in our time say, oh, well, the technology is distracting me. Oh, I have a short attention span, trust Christian. Oh, I have a short attention span. You have a short attention span? How do you think you're going to make it for generations if you have a short attention span? You're going to be what you look at every day. A short attention span memory clip. If you don't play the game the right way. If you don't hit the books every day. You got to study every day. Every day. What's the subject matter? Oh, Trish Christian in the vault. You know, you introduced us to like five, six, seven different things. You know, on the private side, we went through the trustee training. Now you done gave us access to all these people. You know, you the financial planner. You know, you gave us access to, you know, the, the accounting. You know, we reached out to the accounting and, you know, we trying to get going. We in trust already, but we ain't, we ain't go through the trustee training yet. Y'all think we didn't hear the stories? Mayday, mayday. We'll say it again for everybody that's listening. Because this is the stories that you hear on the private side from the people coming from the public. Oh, trust Christian, I got I to gotta trust already. So you got to trust. 
Mayday, mayday, you gotta trust. Yeah, I gotta trust, trust, Christian. I went to the accountant. You know, I went to the accountant because I need help with the account. I know I need help with that. But I still need to be training the trustee training too. You do. How much does college cost? How much do people go to college and go to get into college debt? What the hopes of? Sounds like trustee training, right? Right. Take a risk on yourself. Mayday, mayday. How many people are willing to take a risk on themselves? So it's an educational course. Trustee training is an educational course. I reached out to the accountant, but I still don't know trustee training because I'm in trust. But, I, you know, I got it from the hood, hoopty wop. You know, I got it from a lawyer. The range. You got it from the internet. I got it off the internet. I got it from this guy. I got it from this lady. Or then you got it from a lawyer. Okay, but you have to be trained. That's what trustee training is. Christian at TrustChristian.com. Once again, trustee training is Christian at TrustChristian.com. Appreciate Queens, Connecticut for tuning in live. Listen to replay. Shout out to Connecticut for tuning in live. Oh, it's not Queens. It's actually uh, just Connecticut. Mayday, mayday. Where are we going from here? Trust Christian says, the boss says, okay. You know that you got to be diligent every day. You got to be studying every day. You know, these are the days that you'll look back on and you'll be able to remember and say, yes, those are the days that we put in the work while others weren't putting in the work. So we already know most of the people, they're not putting in the work. The work is is reading a case. Trustees say, well, what's the, what's, what's the mayday, mayday to fall back if we don't have trustee training? You reading the case. We know trustees done and fell out of the trustee training. But guess what? We know y'all still listen to the episodes. And here we go. You got to read cases that you were supposed to read in trustee training. Or you can read the cases that are generally on the Internet about private trust. Now, I'm not saying all of them are good. But the trustees that went through, you got to have it. Are you supposed to have it? You're supposed to have it. So now you can read the cases. And that's what's going to be your saving grace. That's the mayday, mayday. That's the, the rallying cry. What's, the, what's your minutes looking like? Mayday, mayday. Are you getting out your comfort zone and going to those events this year that are open in the public? Are you getting back out and connecting with people? You know, you're six degrees away from the things that you want. And then everybody tries to play this game like, oh, I really want that. But I'm not six degrees away from it. You are six degrees away from from it. So you're six people away from it. But how many of you are going to invest in meeting the six people? You got to go through five to get to the six. Did you know that? You got to go through five to get to the six. Are you willing to go through the five to get to the six? They're not willing to go through the five to get to the six. So how do you think you're going to get to the six if you don't go through the five? You're six degrees away from meeting the people that you really need to meet to help you take your life to any level. And that's always, it's, it's, it's based off a goal. So if you set a goal, you're six degrees away from that. You might have to meet six people that are six degrees. So you, you got to play the law of the numbers. See, people don't want to do the work. This is what we heard for years now. Oh, they don't want to do the work. Well, y'all see what time it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's business as usual. It's the middle of the year. It's May 2021. Business is going on. The sky's not falling out of the sky. People are doing well. And then some people may not be. But at the end of the day, the trustee trainer has trustees in a position right now where we can honestly say we've helped people literally Almost double their money this year. Not only that, if trustee training alone will go do and do an inventory of how much capital we just raised in less than six months in a year, it's easily over a quarter of a million dollars. And that's just, that was just light playing around. We needed to get some things going. People decided to take matters into their own hands, which they did. Trustees took matters into their own hands. Their families are taking matters into their own hands. And this is what you're seeing. You're seeing trustees become leaders and become leaders of their family and be leaders of their family, not sit around and say, oh, I didn't make the meeting, trust Christian, so I'm not going to email you to let you know that I missed it. 
people are embarrassed. That's a real word, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, there's a word called embarrassment. People feel embarrassed about things. And for that reason, that blocks people from their blessings because they're embarrassed to speak up for themselves. When in all actuality, as business as usual, we're always going to have moments where we're outside our comfort zone. See, embarrassed means outside your comfort zone. That's what it really means. So since it means outside your comfort zone, we challenge our trustees that go to our trustee training program and let them know you're going to be outside of your program. Oh, we've had people contact us recently. And if this is you, it doesn't matter. Why? Because this is the reality. Oh, yeah, I was a Division One football player. Oh, yeah, I, I, I do everything top flight. But did you enroll in the trustee training program? You want to know why people don't invest in the trustee training program? Here you go. They're not serious. The people that invest in the trustee training program, they're serious. They communicate. People reached out to the vault multiple times. And then they were serious. They kept communication lines open. That's what you got to do when you're in the private sector. When you're in the private sector, you got to reach out, build that relationship. Some people build out the relationship through the, through the, through the vault here, through, the, through, the live, uh, through this live podcast here. People reach out. Ladies and gentlemen. What happens when you get to the vault and the vault says we don't provide those services anymore for trustee training? Mayday, mayday for you and your family, huh? <laughs> People say, what do you mean? You're not going to do it forever? Ladies and gentlemen, the vault is that. It holds assets. Assets appreciate over a period of time. The vault has appreciated over a period of time. We're just going to let you all know. The Vault is a podcast about the things that when they ask a guy, how does a business get going? How does your business structure look behind closed doors when you have the Jewish lawyers? Why does everybody talk about that? Do you have them though? Did they tell you how they have you set up? Mayday, mayday. It's business as usual. It's culture. We've had our private workshops. We're going to have some more private workshops this year. We're looking at August, September right now. So you guys can start marking your calendars. If you guys want to send over dates that you guys would like. We actually are looking at September 11th. Uh, so mayday, mayday. <laughs> we're looking at September 11th. And uh, we'll let you guys know the city. But we're looking at September 11th or a few other times in August. So, just want to let you all know that the vault listeners and trustees, the next trustee training workshop. Trustees feel a little, feel a little, uh, how do we say this? Uh, what word would they say? Some of them definitely felt a little, uh, they felt a little bad that they didn't make the last trustee training workshop. But then, you know, the ones that didn't make it, but they were able to, make some capital still now they see the importance of connecting they see the importance of getting together because they've already made capital and they're like okay there's an importance of connecting further now because capital's there and they need to know the people that they're making capital with the people that they're having capital and in, in situations go on in their life you know how could you not go to a, anything that involves the people that you're dealing with on some type of capital basis and so you know, when people are dealing on that basis, they, they meet together. Um, and so, you know, it's good to know that we have, like, you know, where the vault organizes something every 90 days or so for uh, not just investors, but trustees more so. Uh, trustees to meet privately, um, to connect in the same room. The trustee training is always for trustees. But, of course, we do allow sometimes tr people that are not trustees to actually come in a room and connect. 
And so that's what you get sometimes is you get people that are not trustees in the room uh, connecting at the trustee training workshop. But even this trustee training workshop, we had quite a few people in that room uh, make quite a bit of capital. And if we took testimonials right now, if we took testimonials at the vault, it's rap. People say, oh, man, well, what are the stories that you got? How come you don't put out anybody that says anything great about the vault? We don't have anything negative. So we're fine with that. We'll stay neutral. We don't want to brag. Because we got trustees that it, it paid for itself. No, listening through the internet. We were talking to someone the other day. By knowing someone through the internet, by investing your private education through the internet, just every now and then taking a risk, people have made hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's a fact. That's a fact this year in less than six months. People have made hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars actually. People listening to the vault over the internet. Oh man, you don't have eight million views. You don't have eight million views on your thing, man. You don't have a lot of views. You know, you don't have all these views, man. Okay, but we sit in a room with real people. See, we actually had the workshop. We didn't just keep it on the internet. We took it out of the internet, and we actually have tangible audience now. We have private groups with people that have sixty, seventy plus people in a group that are, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, it, 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 remember, it's called the 1% for a reason. So it's not going to be millions of people. But there are going to be groups of what we're talking about. Hundreds of people. Thousands of people. And you build that. And the workshops are a great space to do that. We had a great workshop. Cornell the Trader. Carrie, one of the trustees. She uh, is a shooting star. Every now and then you get a shooting star, go through the trustee training program. Uh, her and her family, the whole family came through to the trustee training workshop, mask off. You know, so it's, we had uh, even even the accountant that we had on the uh, episode, Larissa with the, uh, what is that? The you know what is that? This is called tax preparation episode, the vault tax prep episode. And what do you see? You see people coming together in in a, in a private environment, and it's always been that way. It's going to continue to be that way. Made it, made it. If you don't invest in your private education, of course your life will never change. These are people that listen to the vault because guess what? That's where the vault started on the internet. So yes, they met people through the internet. They travel across the country. They travel around the world. They came to the workshop and they were able to increase their family means. That's how you do it. Oh, trust Christian, it looks mysterious. Trust Christian, you know, I'm going from a job. I'm being in trusteeship. I'm going first. I'm going first generation trusteeship. I'm going first generation trusteeship. Yes, I got to travel hundreds of miles. I got to take my family children on airplane flights to meet Trust Christian in Atlanta, in Dallas, in California, in Chicago, in Miami, in Orlando, in D.C., in Connecticut. We had to get on the flight. We had to get on the train. We drove. We were in a room. We met Cornell the Trader. Oh, wow. You know, so you meet people face to face. You shake their hands. People feel comfortable. People have seen, you know, the vault evolve. They've seen Cornell the Trader continuously. This is the same man that I met that said, hey, man, you know, you can make $2,000 a day trading. The same man that I met that said you can make $2,000 a day trading. The first day I met him. And then what happened? Still to this day, never asked for a dime, has continued to bring greater investments to the table, has held trustees, dang near double their money this year. You know, people have taken the trading class. We don't care if no one gets it. Why? Because we know one got it. We know through the internet, we've already changed one life. One. Just one. One person. They are financially independent. By listening to the vault 
going through the training class that Cornell has when he actually did it for $300. The first one for $300. Then he did it for $400. Now he does it for $500. The same training class for three to $500. One person, their life has changed. We got people that came to the workshop that bought their nine-year-old son, their 13-year-old daughter. And their daughter is trading. This is the type of environment that we're talking about. It's not just on the internet. So it evolves. We'll do another workshop. It's not over. Trustees, they don't have to panic and feel like it's a mayday, mayday. But when we say we're moving on, you have to move on to greater projects. Can't you handle bigger projects? Maybe not. People's priorities, huh? So once again, Mayday, Mayday. It's not over, ladies and gentlemen, until it's over. We actually uh, recently saw someone pass away uh, that we knew. Uh, and they actually made some very critical decisions right before they passed. Uh, first of all, they definitely put took some money that was sitting still, wasn't earning interest, and made it almost uh, earn 50% plus. Uh, we saw them make other decisions with life insurance policies um, before they went, which was interesting because uh, we don't know if they knew about their physical ailment, but it was rather quickly and things happened. Things changed. Where, where, where is that mentality that it's not almost over, but you're planning for it to be over? You're planning. It's called estate planning. You don't have an estate until you leave. Or while you're here, even if you have one here, it's still estate planning. We know what it is. People are selfish in the wrong way. We don't see too many people looking and planning for the next generation. We see many people kind of looking around. They want to have fun this generation. And that's what happened. We see a lot of fun generation right now, people. We don't see the sacrificial lambs. Uh, a lot of people are touring the islands and doing all those things. And, you know, when we see trustees say that they want an island, they're talking about that having that for generations. So when we see trustees, uh, when we see people that contact the vault, you know, when we talk about 1% information, we weed out quite a bit of the people that just listen and don't do, whereas the people that come through and they still don't do. So the people that really don't come through and don't do, we already know that those are the ones that are not looking to build it as quickly and the faster you get to building the wealth building process the faster a, a person will be and so we already know that it's very challenging uh, obviously in the wealth building space to to get going uh, specifically when you're uh, just the information is very sparse uh, and so you know when we get around people that are sharing um, you know, uh, it was called mind thinking or uh, think tanking or or uh, forming it and creating a form for, uh, uh, cre you know, creative thought, uh, thought, thought leadership. Uh, we are one of those platforms that create thought leadership in the space of uh, private trustee training, um, in a space of uh, business consult intent management, uh, business management, um, things of that nature. Shout out to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Shout out to Tulsa, Oklahoma for tuning in live. Listen, replay. Appreciate Tulsa, Oklahoma for tuning in live, listening to replay. So once again, uh, you know, we, we see a lot of the panic and trustee training or just in consultations alone is the lack of management skills. And so that's why the vault provides management consulting to uh, people that are entrepreneurs or individuals in general is because so many people and consultations are Christian at trust Christian dot com. Once again, it's Christian at trust Christian dot com. Once again, it's Christian at TrustChristian.com. Christian at TrustChristian.com. So many times. So, you know, when we talk about the Mayday, Mayday mentality, we see so many people that 
they don't have the management skills because they're not reading the books. If so many people contact the vault and got consultation and just say, can you give us a consultation reading list? We could do that alone. We've always been able to be dynamic and flexible in our in our consulting. So when it comes to someone saying, hey, hey, you know, I need to know some books to get my management skills up, we could easily give someone four to five books in a consultation. So you can reach out, get the consultation, and get the books. No, we're not going to share all the books because they are contextual. So when someone comes to the phone and says, we're going to get a consultation, we can diagnose at least two or three or four or five books that are excellent management skill books. We know people that are listening right now are the trustees that can either share or not share. We have trustees listening right now. Because we've seen them type into the chat. And we're not telling them to tell you all books that we've shared in the trustee training. It's private. But if they want to share a book that the, the trustee training shared with them to change their life, that's perfectly on them. That's just not the vault. The vault says, look, you get into training, it's it's for to diagnose. It's a it's a consultation. It's it's to pinpoint a pain point. Not everybody doesn't have business skills. So when people don't have business skills, we recommend certain books. But when you have certain skills, this is what you recommend. If you're at this stage, this is what we recommend. It's based off of where you're at. What are your needs? We know the trustees listening live. We know the trustees are listening to replay. And there's no trustee to ever say, oh, they didn't come after my privacy. They didn't they didn't appreciate my privacy. I, I don't know how I could just speak on these guys. These guys, they, they really over at the vault really don't say anything. They never ask me for anything. And we know if we put out that, that voluntarily ask, it's going to be completed any day. Appreciate everybody for tuning in live, listening to Replay. This is Duvall, episode 313, Mayday, Mayday. It's all about not panicking. And so many people say, oh, I have anxiety, trust Christian. I have anxiety. Okay, well, you got to calm down. You got to breathe. Because in business situations, you're going to be in situations that are going to make you have some sweaty palms. And every great business leader will tell you that you're going to have sweaty palms. But it's okay to have the sweaty palms. you got to wipe your palms off and continue doing business. you got to be able to get through these uncomfortable moments in business. Where do I go from here, trust Christian? Where do I go in the vault? You listen to all the episodes. You just become thoroughly versed. It's okay. Become thoroughly versed. Ladies and gentlemen, at the vault right now, we're experiencing a major shift. Because growth is happening on an exponential level. Because trustees have decided to come together. Because people in trust deal with people in trust. That's what. We said by mid-year trustees we're going to be busy. We're already in March and trustees are done. Just like Robin Hood and GameStop. You know, they wipe people out. You know how the market's quiet right now. You don't hear the retail investors talking about how they're making all of this money, getting rich. People aren't having their children come up to my, oh, my child owns GameStop. My child owns AMC stock. My child owns stock now. Yeah, they don't own any stock anymore because they got wiped out. Just like when the Bitcoin dropped the other day, they got wiped out. Oh, yeah. Mayday, mayday. Don't panic, though, because we're still in May. Don't panic. We still got, what? How many more months in a year to go? Eight? Six months left in a year to go? Seven months? Where, Where is the opportunities at? Where do you hear exponential growth happening? Or do you hear exponential misery? Do you hear exponential growth in the mainstream or do you hear exponential misery?
Because in a private sector right now, the ones that are on their game, that are in the private trustee training, that are on their game, that are that are getting the consultations, once again, you got to get your consultation. See, a lot of people, they got away from consultation because they didn't know how to ask. They didn't know how to say, hey, look, you know, I'm a pony up. You think you can meet with the mentors and not pay? We had to travel across the country to meet the mentors. We still got to travel across the country to meet the mentors. They're not sitting right there under you. You got to drop the bread. Thousands of dollars. What, you riding across the country in coach to go meet your mentors? You riding across the country in the PJ? How you getting across the country to meet your mentors? Are you flying your mentors in so you can spend time with your mentors for two or three or four days? How much time is that going to cost you? What if you had to give your mentor four or $5,000 for a week? $10,000 for a week. That's nothing. That's nothing. They're making that. They're managing that. And you're going to think you're going to get them in to sit down and do what? You got to pay respect. So what is the $5,000 for a week to pay your mentor to come and sit down with you on the beach so you can interview them, so you can have them sit there and do a powwow with your family? But you're not willing to invest the money? That's how you know you're going to be broke. For generations. So the way you get around that is by doing what? You got to invest the money. How are you not going to invest and pay the mentor at that? The person you say you respect. The people that you say you care about. Well, did you do what you said you was going to do? Oh, man. We live in this world, trust Christian, where, you know, trust Christian and vote. You ain't keep your word. Oh, really? The whole damn project is built around a contract and a trust. So did you breach the contract? The contract says a 12-week training program. It's a 12-week training program. Hold on. We're going to say it again. It's a 12-week training program. It's not a forever training program. Mayday, mayday. We don't have forever. You don't have forever. Mayday, mayday. You don't have forever. It's a 12-week training program. That's three months. Did you know? See, we had to break it down in weeks, and then now we could tell you it's three months. Trust Christian, hold on. You trying to tell us we can learn trusteeship in 12 weeks? Do you know how long a college course is? A semester? A half a semester? That's trustee training. It's a continuing education program. We have quarterly workshops. There's not a final exam. It's just this is where you meet the people that have gone through a cycle with you. Or you get to meet senior trustees that give a damn to come back that want to do projects with other trustees. Mayday, mayday. Oh, I'm trying to be black power, trust Christian. Did you hear that? Hey, 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 young kids. Hey, hey, young, young, young African-American black people. You are going to hear this line from a lot of people in life. See, this is the advice that I wanted to hear when I was in my young 20s, when I was going black power. It didn't serve me. When we said black power, there were more, more cultures coming to the vault than a little bit. They appreciated the vault talking about black power. They appreciated the vault wanting to help out their culture. Because it's cultural. See, when you're in trust, when you're in contract, you're in contract with your culture. That's why they have Chinatowns. That's why they have little Italy's in America. Cultures have their cities. People work together in their towns. They have the Amish community. Mayday, mayday. When you're in trust, it's a community contract. So they try to say, oh, we're going to come together. we trying to work together. The workshops was for trustees. But some people get the information and what they do, they get ghost. Because in some environments, you have to be authentic. You have to be transparent. You have to keep your word. You have to do what you say you're going to do. Did you come to the trustee training? Did you come to the workshops? 
We know COVID times. That's the only thing people could say. COVID times. Oh, you didn't have the workshops last year in COVID times. We had one workshop in COVID times. Y'all don't even want to know the story behind this game. Because people told us not to do it in COVID times when, Mar- when it was March last year. Oh, don't do the workshop. We still did the workshop. Nobody died from that workshop. People were still rebuilt relationships off that workshop. People don't even know. We got connections from that room that have been built and fostered from that workshop. Because that's how easy it is to change your life when you go to one workshop. One workshop could change your life. Of course it can. Changed ours. Me and Cornell met at one workshop. One workshop. He didn't even stay the second day. The workshop was two days. He said, I'm making $2,000 a day trading and I'm leaving. I'm not staying the second day. I called him the second day in the morning to text him. Hey, man, you, you going you go to show up? It's getting busy. Where you at? I'm trying to make sure I got a seat for you. If you in here, I'm not coming. I'm already on the road. That's how much confidence people have in the private sector not to deal with you anymore. If you're not doing what they say you want to do. The reason why Cornell didn't stay the second day is because the way that they presented the information, they presented the charity first instead of the, instead of the trusteeship. So he wanted more trusteeship than he found out about the charity and he wasn't having it. So he left. That's how much confidence people have in the private to walk away because they got money. They know they got money. They're going to find it. Well, we built that relationship so he wasn't too worried about it. That's how you do it. You build relationships. Because the information comes with the relationships. You build a relationship. You get the information. People in our sector don't give everybody the information. Why? The people that purport this information, such as J.D. Rockefeller said, competition is a sin. The Rockefellers have the Rockefeller Foundation. It's a private family foundation. The Rockefellers have trust. They said competition is sin. They don't believe out, believe in giving out the information. They either buy you out or you already do you already have the information and they can partner with you. They don't give out the information, they buy you out. Appreciate the Bronx for tuning in live, listen to replay. Shout out to the Bronx for tuning in live, listen to replay. Think about how many people are listening from all over the country, whether it's live or in the replay, that you listen to on the vault. We've dealt with, we've flown to New York. We dealt with people in New York. We dealt with people in Jersey. We dealt with people in D.C., Maryland, Virginia. We dealt with people in the Carolinas. We dealt with people in Florida. We dealt with people in Atlanta. We dealt with people in Chicago. We dealt with people in Illinois. We dealt with people in Kansas. Y'all need us to keep going through the states. We dealt with people in Louisiana. We dealt with people in Texas. We dealt with people in California. We're just naming trustees that we know right off the top of our head that are from certain regions. We dealt with people from Alaska. Trusteeship. Mayday, mayday. Is it almost over for you? If it was almost over for you, where are you right now? It should be a mayday, mayday. We need to raise the money to get in a training. It's mayday, mayday. We need to get the entities because this information can disappear. And then what happens? You don't have access to it anymore. That's how we thought with the mentors. Once we got the trust... We were like, okay, the foundation is up. So we had, well, we have an arrogant business partner. Sometimes you have arrogant business partners. That could be your wife. That could be your husband. It's a bad situation. Why? Because these people will block you from your blessings. They don't know when to shut up. And they don't know when to just pay the pie piper. So had an arrogant business partner at the time. So business partner said, okay, we're going to figure it out. We're already in trusteeship. We're going to figure it out. We're going to be like the rest of the people on the Internet, knowing that we're not like the rest of the people on the Internet. We're going to pony up and pay like the rest of the people did, you know, and get the private information because that's how you get it. You got to pony up. So uh, three months go by. Bam. 
business partner comes back and says, uh, okay, we just need to go ahead and pony up because we haven't figured it out yet. It was actually probably less than 90 days. Now, one thing recently, from the from the notes on the vault to self, no notes to the universe. You can't wait for people. There is no waiting in life. The minute didn't wait for us. The second didn't wait for us. Did God wait for you? Did the devil wait for you? No one's waiting for you. For that reason, it's Mayday, Mayday. We had to take advantage of the situation. For that reason. We didn't let it go past 90 days from making a decision to actually have funds to get going. Private Family Foundation, we're good to go for generations. We're locked in for generations. Our name just got locked in for generations. We love libraries. We love hospitals. We love community centers. We love parks. We love uh, 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 tollways. We love waterways. We love all of those things. We love natural wildlife preserves. We have huge charitable hearts. For that reason, we can start a charity at any moment. Charity is not a nonprofit. Charity is managing billions of dollars. The Rockefeller Foundation manages billions of dollars. Carnegie Foundation, billions of dollars. We are in the same league. There's less than 90, less than 100,000 100, private family foundations. We wanted to make it a point to be in that upper echelon. We're in that space. We made it a point to dig deep to get the information, and even so to this day, we're seeing trustees invest in their education. When we see trustees bring stuff back to the, to the vault, those are the trustees that they're going to make it. The ones that bring information back to the vault, those are the ones that are going to make it because they understand it's about giving back. That's why, well, how are you going to be in charity and you're not giving back? That's how you know you're not going to make it. And that's why the ones that get in the foundation, that get in the trustee training, that go to the to the trustee training workshops, those are the ones that the ones that give back. The ones that give back. Oh, you know how many years it took for us to get five people to give back? Five people? But we went through many. And guess what? Those five people, those are the people you have 20-year relationships with, lifelong relationships with, because those people understood and they gave a damn and appreciated the information because that's what they were looking for, to change generations. They weren't looking just for the information. They were looking to change generations. But they appreciated their relationships. They know that every relationship they got from the vault, if it wasn't for trust Christian in the vault, speaking out, having a nuts, when people said in the private sector, oh, don't do the podcast, people out there, they ain't got the money, people out there, they don't want to do this, what do you mean, don't share the information, the elite aren't sharing it, why are you sharing it? Mayday, mayday, because the vault understood. When we see these clowns come on TV, these entrepreneurs, these fake investors, and these guys, they're dealing with tax liabilities or whatever, whatever, it's because they own everything. They don't tell you that they got out of the position, and later on in life, that's how they became even wealthier. It's because that when they was going through those issues, they found someone like Trust Christian in the vault. They found someone like those lawyers that helped out Bill Gates. They help you get out of antitrust lawsuits. That's what those people do. Mayday, mayday. That's what happens. <laughs> Man, if y'all only understood how precious the information was, the mentors, how precious the relationships are. And we see some people come through and take straight advantage of the relationships of the mentors. How special is that? Like, how how special is that? To have trustees actually come through, take advantage of the information. That's powerful. That's beautiful. We appreciate that. A lot of people say, oh, trust Christian in the vault. We know you got this. We got, we, we, we be hearing you. We be hearing you. You be going in, trust Christian in the vault. You be going in, man. You be going in. Because we speaking to a certain audience. We, we sit in the room with the, with the Caucasian billionaires. 
with the Asian billionaires, with the Middle Eastern billionaires. When they have conferences, we sit in the room with high net worth environments, ultra high net worth environments. We sit in those rooms. Mayday, mayday, it's not over for us. We throwing a life raft. We throwing a safety net. Where is the people that care? They listen. They went through the training. They're in the training. They ponied up. They got together what they needed to get together. They didn't wait for years. Oh, I listened to the, the years. They listened to it for years. Ladies and gentlemen, we've known some of our mentors for years, and we've still never asked them the same question twice for years and never asked the same question twice. And it's crazy because some of the mentors say, well, you've asked this question before, and that's actually bad when they say that to you. Because they're saying you're not listening. They're saying you're not getting it. Are you getting it? Don't trust Christian in the vault. You know the law law buries clothes, but are you listening to the lessons? Are you digging deep into the lessons? Did you go through all of the content more than once? Oh, with so many episodes, trust Christian, I just got to go through with so many episodes. It is. That's what the purpose of it is. So you can have content for a specific situation. Every episode is almost equivalent to a consultation. One consultation. Someone's asked about this topic that we're talking about. How long is this going to be around? That's what they get. They get a consultation. That's what they get a consultation. So how long are you going to be doing this? Some people say, well, how long have you been doing this? Well, look, it don't matter at, at one point. It's not for everybody. But private is private. And y'all can see that the vote is consistent. See, that's why people contact the vote. When they contact the vote, they say that. Oh, man, the vote's consistent. Hmm. Appreciate everybody for tuning in live, listening to replay. Trust Christian. Oh, nothing control everything. Ain't no games out here. It's business. And because it's business, there's environments that are welcoming to us. As people that are looking to manage wealth, manage assets as trustees. This podcast, this YouTube channel podcast is uh, for people to learn about trusteeship, hear about trusteeship, and that's what it's about. There's no need to panic, but when you're looking to be in a position of trusteeship, there's a level of seriousness that comes with it, diligence that comes with it. Then because trust Christian in the vault doesn't say, oh, you got to have a degree to be a business manager, you don't. We sat in front of somebody the other day said, name one billionaire that has a degree that's in the mainstream. And they couldn't name one. But everybody wants to talk about having it. You got to have the formal degree for business. You don't. You don't have to have the formal education, but you got to get your feet wet. You got to jump in there and get the job done. Mayday, mayday. Don't burn relationships up. And if you do, make sure the ones that you don't care if you don't get them back. That's the level of confidence you got to have. Trust Christian, own not control everything. Mayday, mayday. Appreciate everybody for tuning in live. Listen to reach at, replay Christian at TrustChristian.com. Christian at TrustChristian.com for consultations and trustee training. Enrolling right now. We're doing the next workshop August, September. Enrolling trustee training. Christian at TrustChristian.com.